Hey, it's almost June, and you know what that means? Cicadas! Also E3, which is only a few weeks away. But there are plenty of big games to get your hands on before the electronic triple kicks off. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get new releases delivered to you every Sunday. Here's what's hot this week. When it comes to fighting games, Tekken is one of the top contenders. Tekken 7 is finally leaving the arcades for home consoles, and it's got some new tricks up its sleeve. The first is the new Rage Art, which lets you deal special critical attacks when your health is low. The second is the Power Crush, which will actually let you continue attacking even after being hit by certain moves from your opponent. Add those to the game's eight new characters, including Street Fighter's Akuma, and you've got yourself quite a throwdown. You can jump into the fray on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on Friday, June 2nd. And if you want to see some high-level action before then, you can watch two pro players duke it out in our gameplay videos. Summer is also a wonderful time to go for a drive, so why not do that with Danger Zone? Maybe don't copy everything the game does, though, since it's all about crashing cars in the most spectacular way possible. The bigger the explosion and the more bonuses you grab along the road, the more points you get. What else do you expect from a team that used to make burnout games? And you can compare all those scores thanks to leaderboards, too. You can take the highway to the Danger Zone on PS4 and PC on Tuesday, May 30th. Archer would be proud. What? what? <laughs> Danger Zone. If you're more into piloting Starfleet ships than driving cars, you can finally do that in virtual reality with Star Trek Bridge Crew. The crew of the USS Aegis is tasked with finding a new homeworld for the Vulcans, and this mission will take you to the Trench, a dangerous Klingon-occupied region of space. Four players can put on headsets and get the job done, taking on the roles of captain, tactical officer, engineer, and helm officer. You can strap in with PSVR, Oculus Rift, or HTC Vive on the 30th. Back on Earth, you can experience a very different kind of adventure with Perception. This psychological horror game puts you in the role of Cassie, a young blind girl. As you can see, this doesn't mean the game is just a black screen. Cassie navigates by echolocation. Tapping her cane lets her see objects in her general vicinity. But the more you tap, the more you'll alert the spirits in the house to your presence. You'll have to rely on your keen sense of hearing if you hope to get through it all, and you can give it a shot on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on the 30th. Now let's move to the other side of the world with Tokyo 42. If the isometric style looks familiar, it's because this action game is inspired by the original Syndicate and the top-down GTA games. And just like those, there's gonna be plenty of shooting as you assassinate your way through a citywide conspiracy. You can go it alone in the game's neon open world or compete against other assassins online. It all starts on Xbox One and PC on Tuesday the 31st, with a PS4 release coming later this summer. And those are the biggest games we'll be playing this week. As always, remember that release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back with more next week.